Hey everyone, so today I want to show you guys how to make a henna inspired charger plate. It's really really simple and first thing you will need is some of these plates. So um, these ones you can get them pretty much anywhere um, at craft stores, um, dollar stores, Walmart, Target, um, pretty much anywhere that sells these kind of plates, specifically the ones that kind of have this indent because for the decoration part it's going to be really really nice um, to kind of decorate this outer edge um, with the henna designs. Second, you will need these um, acrylic paints. So basically these paints I will show you how you can put them into a henna cone and then you can pretty much use it like you would henna and you can put it onto the plate to make really really cool designs. So I got these at Michael's Arts and Crafts and I got some kind of colors that I thought would complement um, the plates really really nice. Also um, if you don't already like the color of the plates basically you can get spray paint and that's the next thing that we got here. I got some of the spray paint also from Michael's and um, basically I'm going to use these three colors on three different plates and um, I'm going to use those colors uh, in the acrylic paint that I showed you um, to kind of match these three. So they're all going to be a little different and it should be really really fun. So let's get started. Alright, so now it is time to roll the cones that we will be putting the acrylic paint into. So I've already rolled one, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to roll it. I do have a more in-depth video. If you want to check that out, I will try to leave um, a link to my video in the description. But basically, I like to start from the center with like a rectangle piece of cello. And then I just roll on the inside like this until I have the kind of size that I want. Um, and then basically, I like to use a pin, which this is a 0.5 millimeter pin. I like to use that in the tip, which I will insert like that. And I go into the inside of the cone while I'm holding uh, this top part and I kind of pull downwards so that the cello is nice and firm around the pin. And I just continue rolling until I have this little flap right here. And then I'll take a piece of tape and I will just place that right there and then I'll just continue rolling like that till it adheres. So that is the cone um, right here. And I'm going to make six of them, they have six different colors, and then we'll continue from there. I've already kind of um, rolled most of them, but I just have this one left, so I thought I'd show you exactly how I like to do it. So basically take the cone and then I like to take the cone out for or the pin out first, excuse me. And then um, you just open up the paint. Really, really simple. It's a nice opening that flows pretty easily into a cone. So I just kind of kind of tilt it so you can see it. Just pour it in like that. It'll start going to the bottom pretty quickly. And then um, don't want to fill it up too much because you don't want it to overflow. And then you just pop the pin back in. Kind of see it's a little messy, but it's just acrylic paint so it washes off pretty easily. And then I like to tape this part first so that there's no leakages. Just kind of take that like that. Do another one. Paint is a little different than henna, the consistency. Somewhat similar, but it's a little bit easier to roll a henna cone, I think. A little less messy. So, and then I just kind of roll it like that. And I just seal it up. Oh, this one was really messy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then basically I will tape the seam of the cone so there's no leakages. Sorry, that tape did not work. There we go. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, is we're just going to use up as much of it as we need. 
and then just kind of tape that and here you've got your pink cones so there you have it your nice lovely lovely pink cones can we to use them Disappear, you shine a light.